ATD Ameritrade joins us on this Friday. Hello and happy Friday to you, Joe. Happy Friday and good morning, Angela. How are you? I'm doing very well. I would love to get your take on Alibaba. It is Singles Day in China on 11-11. This is a huge shopping day for China. What would you do with a stock at the current level? Well, at this level, it's got a lot of momentum to the upside. And what we're seeing in the options market that's really interesting to me is a lot of buyers of the December 120 calls. So this is a stock that last night closed just under 109. The momentum players continue to see it going higher. We're heading into the holiday season here in the U.S. right after Singles Day. So, again, what you're hoping for is that this shopping momentum continues. We've had the price of gasoline come down significantly over the last few weeks. That's money in consumers' pockets. So I, I think those who are buying that 120 call, hoping to see this continue right through the holiday season, Angie. But I know how you traders can be about these big events, a big buying spree into the event on the stock and then a selling on the news. Any chances this is going to happen here, Joe? Well, there's always that chance, Angie, but the next event is only two weeks away. So I think there may be a little bit of a reluctance to really punish the stock unless, of course, Singles Day delivers a disappointment. Hey, and a quick mention on the jobs report coming out this morning. Is the options market bullish ahead of that report? Well, I think overall what we've seen in the market for today's report is that people are expecting, you know, again, the momentum of the stock market. We wanted to see the SPX, the S&P 500, above 1920. It did so convincingly last night. Now, with that, I think what the traders are going to be looking for in the report is not only the, the number of jobs created, as we always do, but the quality of jobs created. In the Fed's last meeting, they actually talked about this. So you want to see the jobs created true careers business services, manufacturing, construction, good quality jobs that, as I say, it's not a jobs report. You want to see it be a careers report, and then I think it will be considered a great success. Thank you, Joe. Always a pleasure, Angie.